The Secret Diary of Simon Petlura premiered in Ukraine as a full-length feature film about the final years of the Ukrainian People's Republic leader. The state-funded film, which was made in commemoration of the centennial anniversary of the Ukrainian Revolution in 1918, was directed by Oles Yanchuk and presented a rich, vivid retelling of events while preserving intrigue and suspense. Complete with retro automobiles and fashions of the 1920s, the script covered the smallest details in order to accurately recreate the final days of Simon Pitlura's life. The episode recounting his assassination, which occurred on May 25, 1926, required the reconstruction of an entire Parisian street at the Vzhenko Film Studios in Kyiv. Everything from the pavement, cafes, bookstores, even the hotel Simon Pitlura lived, was resurrected on screen. Simon Petlura's life in emigration and the events of those times are still relevant and understandable today. Oleg Trepovsky admits that the role of Simon Petlura's murderer, Samuel Schwarzbard, was not easy because he's actually a victim, a romantic poet and a dreamer, who the Soviet regime cynically used to conduct its dirty business. All events in the film take place during a short period of Ukraine's independence between the years of 1918 and 1920, when Ukraine was governed by its first president, Mikhailo Hrushevsky, who was played by Bogdan Banyuk. The Ukrainian National Republic's government leader, Volodymyr Vinichenko, is embodied in the film by Yevhen Nishchuk. The film's protagonist, Simon Petlura, is played by Sergei Frolov. His wife, Olha Petlura, is portrayed by Irma Vitovska, while the role of their daughter, Lesya Petlura, is executed by Viktoria Yanchuk. The film was released in theaters nationwide in Ukraine on September 6th.